Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Tom Poborezny is honored. Cessna delivers its 5,000 Citation Jet. Hydrogen power propels in a four-place airplane. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's October 5th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Tom Poborezny has been the champion of recreational aviation, and we at ANN congratulate Tom for his induction into the National Aviation Hall of Fame. Even more important, his contributions to the recreational aviation have overflowed into all areas of general aviation. And as if his achievements aren't enough, Tom is simply a nice guy. The 69-year-old Poborezny is being honored for his diverse aviation achievements, perhaps the best known of which is serving as EAA president for more than 20 years, between 1989 and 2010. His achievements also include his notable accomplishments as an aerobatic competition and air show performer. Poborezny was introduced at the award ceremony by Russ Meyer Jr., a former National Aviation Hall of Fame enshrined. Poborezny's induction also creates the first father-son tandem in the National Aviation Hall of Fame, as EAA's late founder, Paul Poborezny, was inducted in 1999. We at ANN salute our friend, Tom Poborezny. Cessna continues to push jets out the factory door as they announce the recent delivery of the 5,000 Citation Light business jet. The aircraft was a Citation M2 that they delivered to Helitrip Charter, which is leasing the aircraft to Catreus Limited, which is an established charter operator based in the UK. Catreus currently manages and operates a mixed fleet of aircraft. Catreus combined aircraft fleet now operates approximately 3,000 charter hours a year. Cy Williams, the CEO of Catrius, said in part, We are delighted to add another Citation M2 to our fleet. After bringing the first M2 into the UK last year, we have seen an increase in demand for the aircraft. Williams added that they look forward to their continued relationship with Textron Aviation. Cessna entered the light jet segment in 1972 when the company delivered its first Citation. According to Cessna, that Citation light jets have continued to lead the light jet segment. After the break, hydrogen and electric power propel a pipistrel. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing and crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. A four-place hydrogen-powered aircraft flew for the first time in Stuttgart, Germany last week. The HY-4 is the world's first four-seat passenger aircraft powered solely by a hydrogen fuel cell system. Researchers from the German Aerospace Center developed the aircraft's power train and worked on the project with industry and research partners. The HY-4 fuel cell aircraft is based on a Pipistrel airplane. The powertrain consists of a hydrogen storage system, a low temperature hydrogen fuel cell, and a battery. The fuel cell converts hydrogen directly into electrical energy. An electric motor uses the power thus generated to propel the aircraft. A high performance lithium battery covers peak power loads during takeoff and when climbing. The aircraft, as tested, 
cruises at approximately 70 knots and has a range, depending on load, of between 400 and 800 nautical miles. The aircraft weighs about 3,300 pounds and is serving as a test bed for developing the technology for use in the future generations of the aircraft. With some 2,000 Aerial TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aerial TV classic episodes. And the active side stick is the right tool to exploit to its maximum the capability of this new fly-by-wire system. Many airliners and corporate jets use computer control technology that involves a side stick controller rather than a control column and wheel. This has led to the lack of pilot feel for the control of the airplane, but in this video, you'll see that one company is addressing this issue. Search agreeable fly-by-wire on Aerial TV's news channel. After these messages, SpaceX checks out a ULA building. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a, a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. A SpaceX official visited a building of its competitor ULA while investigating the loss of their Falcon 9 rocket. It's reported something unusual was seen on the roof at the time of the explosion. Air Force investigators said there was nothing connected with the explosion. A Russian man has been arrested in Warsaw, Poland and accused of flying his drone over the home of the Polish Prime Minister without permission. It's reported that the operator could face up to five years in prison and other charges could be pending. A vintage Culver aircraft went down Saturday in Longview, North Carolina. The accident resulted in the fatal injury of the pilot, who was the only person on board the plane. The Culver Cadet was derived from a drone aircraft used during World War II. There's a new record for time aloft for vertical takeoff or landing aircraft. It's held by the Latitude Engineering HQ-60 hybrid quad rotor UAV that completed a total flight time of 22 hours and 29 minutes. The New Orleans Aviation Director, Iftikhar Abad, is moving north. He's leaving the airport effective next week to serve as the President and CEO of the Rhode Island Airport Corporation to lead their six airports, which includes TF Green International Airport. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. Mitsubishi is flight testing its new regional jet known as the MRJ in the Pacific Northwest of the United States due to the congestion in the airspace over Japan. Now, it's been reported that the first of the four MRJ airplanes arrived last week at Moses Lake, Washington to begin flight testing. However, even as flight testing gets underway, the company is saying that production of the aircraft will be delayed by another year. The Seattle Times reports that according to the Nikkei Asian Review, Mitsubishi has decided to rebalance the aircraft after apparently repositioning certain components. Mitsubishi Aircraft said in a news release that the company still hopes to achieve type certification in 2018. 
But Bloomberg News has reported that All Nippon Airways, the launch customer for the airplane, confirmed that Mitsubishi had informed the airline of possible delays last month and has not offered a revised delivery date for the airplane. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.